Hey guys, happy Monday, and we are in week six of our cycle. Uh, we've been doing these back squats and front squats every Monday and Friday. The weights are slowly getting heavier, the reps are going down. So we're gonna be going, we're gonna be hitting 90% today in our back squat. Remember, if you don't use percentages, just build on what you've done week after week. So just trying to incrementally get a little bit stronger as the weights get heavier, okay? Focus on a good vertical torso. Remember, this is not just for the sake of squatting with a barbell. We want this to translate to all the other types of squatting that we do, such as our Olympic lifts, wall balls, all that good stuff, right? So back squat, let's do a quick review. Find your grip, come onto the bar. Particularly when this gets heavy, take your time with a good setup. So stand tall, engage your upper back, chest tall. Big breath and hold it. Good deep squat, stand up with as much speed as you can, right, one rep at a time, right? Don't rush the top, don't just come down and up and then go again right away. Take a second, reset. <clears throat> okay, every rep as strong as you can, right? Same exact concept for the front squats. Front squats aren't uh, maximal today, uh, similar to what we've been doing, but still you're gonna be tired. Take your time to get a good setup. So before you come out of the rack, take your time to find that good, Deep front rack position. Take a step back, fighting for the elbows and chest up the whole time. Good deep squat. Stand up with as much speed as you can every single time. Remember, speed equals power, guys. So good deep squat, good vertical torso. That's gonna be our strength, guys. We've been working on this for, it's our sixth week now. So hopefully you're feeling stronger. From here, we're going back to our rowing intervals. We, again, working on this for multiple weeks. So you should be feeling stronger. Trust yourself to pick up the pace. Trust your recovery in between, um, and just try to, again, build on your pacing week to week. This is similar to strength, incrementally getting a little bit better as you go, all right? Um, so pretty straightforward work there. And then our finisher, we've got three movements. We have dips, we've got dumbbell, bicep curls, and we've got some ab work. So most people for the dips should be using the straight bar. If you're stronger, you can use the ring dips. But we wanna get, again, good range of motion, all right, with a pause at the top. So Nice tight position at the top, lock the elbows out, get the elbows below parallel at the bottom, and then pause at the top every single time. Okay, so I have these set up so I can keep my body nice and long. Again, what I mean, range of motion, the shoulder should be below the elbow at the bottom. All right, then we have dumbbell bicep curls, pretty straightforward. Okay, again, try not to swing them up, work good control on the way down. And then we have the uh, pike leg lifts. as our final movement. So that's it for today, guys. See you tomorrow.